Hey everyone, welcome back again to another video on the Foxtag YouTube channel. This time we talk about the iPad, as you can see right in here, it's in my hand. And the topic is how you can put Google Drive as a files location inside of your files app. So as you know, if you open up the files app like this, and if you go to the sidebar, there is the location section where I have my iCloud Drive on my iPad, some third-party documents app, and recently deleted. So if you want to put Google Drive to be part of those, at first what you have to do is to leave the app and make sure that you have it downloaded as a specific and separated app. So you can see I have the Google Drive downloaded. I'm not even signed in just yet about it. The first step is to have the app ready. Now leave the app and come back to the files again. And as you are here inside of the sidebar, make sure you go to the sidebar and at the top, you can see there's the three buttons, three dots icon. If I click on it, it gives me some of the options. And one of those is like scan documents, connect the server, which is possibly as well, but you're gonna click on edit sidebar. And now the Google Drive has the green toggle, which can be enabled. So you have to click on that. Now the Google Drive has been added as a location. You can also grab it and reorganize it, perhaps put it closer to the top and hit it done. And you basically have it inside of the files app. When I click on it, it doesn't do anything since as you could notice before, I'm not even signed in, but it is already there. So once I go through the authentication, which is required to open up the drive to log in, basically, it's going to be able to display all of my files inside of the files app. So it's very useful, in fact. Okay, so this is how you can add the Google Drive, but this was just the first option. The little bit more complicated one, which I don't believe anyone actually needs to use, is to again tap on the three dots at the top, but connect the server. And you can basically connect to the drive.google.com technically using this option as well, but I would naturally not recommend you to do it since there is like a very simple method of using the drive app and putting in here. So no option on, or no, uh, it's not like really needed to, to do it at the more complicated way. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out until then.